everywhere. It's mad, we're just up in the sky, like a cloud. There's easily a million there. It's madness. Remember, you just got to walk in like you own the place. <laughs> We've just come up to see our cliffs. This view is unbelievable. You need to come here. The prices are pretty good. Can be super expensive as well, but check this out. <laughs> Yoga mornings in Kuta. Good morning. So here we are. Sorry about that. We're high up above Kuta on the cliff face to do a yoga class. is it? It's not bad. Beats the basements of London. Wow, what a space. Built into the side of a jungle. What a view. Uh, session lasted for like 60 minutes. I did a session with three. Great guy. It was like a hip opener class, so really good for me. I got super tight hips. But guys, if you're around, definitely try this place out. I'm just gonna go and try breakfast. The view from up there is spectacular. So it'll definitely be worth it. Uh, what should we get? Eggs, cappuccino, here I come. Hello. There we have it, yoga is done, breakfast is done. It came to 173,000 for the breakfast, so it's just uh, £9.38, I just checked. And then for the yoga, it was 120,000. So again, about £7, £7.50. Definitely worth it, great place if you're in town and if you like yoga, this is you. Good morning, here we are for my morning coffee at Kenza. Great little spot, lovely place. There it is. Hey man. Hi. Good? This is nice out here. Yeah. Yeah,
Welcome to my favorite gym in town of Lombok Kuta. So there's another gym called Bumblebee, but that's a bit more fixed. It's a bit more functional. And also you've got the option of Thai boxing. This is Loka. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, you? Morning, man. Morning, man. So it looks like a class has just ended. I'm just here for the open gym. Workout is done, hot sweaty one, and now it's time for breakfast. Hello. Boys. How are you? Good man. I've been waiting for the sunset all week. It's been cloudy every night, so I've given up on it. It's cloudy tonight, so we're gonna go to the Bat Cave. I've heard certain things about the Bat Cave, so I'm a little dubious, but we're gonna go and check it out anyway. I'm fully covered up, trainers are on. Uh, I've heard there's a lot of cockroaches, I hear you get pooed on, so let's see if I enjoy it or not. The Bat Bike. The Bat Cave's high up. In them hills there. Apparently 5 pm is the perfect time for light into the cave and then for the bats to start coming and going. Our dogs have better days. Here it is, the back cave. As you can see, from the back behind me, I have arrived. So for 60,000 rupees, you get harness, straps, protection gear, a guide, and a free drink. I'm just about to get kitted up, and then we're going in. Hopefully this dog doesn't attack me. Everything wants to attack me here. Fully kitted up. Apparently it does stink, it's been confirmed. The helmet. It'll protect me against poo, but nothing else because it'll fall off. And we're going in to the back cave. I was going to bring my drone, but I didn't want to chop the bats up. So I thought I'd leave it at home, but I might come back tomorrow. Get some aerial shots. <laughs> Room? Who's for? Dwarfs? Jesus! Where am I back? I sit to go. Okay. In the room one, uh, there uh, is fitness, birds. Oh, swallows. Yeah, swallows. And people. Uh, Almost in my hands. Oh shit, my protective gear I just come off. Oh. Get that back on. It's 
Oh man, it stinks in here. Yeah. It's like next level stink. Oh, oh, I'm joking. Oh, and there was a lot of bats in here, I could hear them. Six o'clock. So can I set this up there at six o'clock and leave yes. it there? Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going back in. Okay, so came out about 25 minutes ago. He's told me that we all come out at six, between 6 p.m. 6:30 p.m. So we're gonna go up there now. Hopefully, get a few slow motors. And I've also got a light. The guy just brought his iPhone with us last time, so I can't really see much. So make sure if you do come, you've got a guide with a powerful light. Even though this doesn't look that powerful, it's better than what I just had. Here we go. <laughs> That was crazy, crazy. <laughs> Someone said there was a million bats in there. I now believe them. You don't actually have to pay to go in. So if you just want to see the bats leaving and coming back in, then you can just walk up the stairs. The stairs what I'm walking down now. So you just come into the car park, come straight up the stairs, get here for like 6.30 and then they start slowly coming out. And then someone gives the call and then everybody comes out. They're bouncing off the walls, they're bouncing off you. Jesus, it was crazy. Oh man, I need to go and get a shower. They're everywhere. It's mad, they're just up in the sky, like a cloud. There's easily a million there. Madness. Remind me to uh, not go and see bats again. Good evening. Big night tonight here in Kuta. Yes, it is my last night in Indonesia, Lombok, Kuta, and we're moving on. It's been amazing, but also we're gonna celebrate because I've just completed on my property. It is now sold. It was supposed to sell in November. It's now almost February and we are here. So we're gonna celebrate and go to the Milky Wave here in Kuta. Guys, you are gonna love this building. Milky Wave, here we come! <laughs> I know, you was faster than me. Yeah. This is Naima. All the way from Germany. Yeah. Restaurant to ourselves. I don't think it'll be like this in a few years. Take it while you've got it. <laughs> Cheers. See what it's like. Yeah. Rum o'clock. Oh man, that is good. good. How was your meal? Mine too. Bottoms so up. good. Excellent. We are done. We got looked after. Bye bye. 
So it costs roughly about £45. I'm happy with that at that price. Pretty pricey for the area we're in, but compared to the UK, I'll take that every day. Sushi was on point. The steak, a little bit hard, dry, but that's because we're rushing. Because it closed at 10.30 and we're here at 10. So they wanted to get out of here. So now we are out of here. Good night.